Hello everybody, um, this is the next day after I posted the day 11 uh, uh, podcast, so this is day 12, and I spent the morning at home with the kids, and it started off well, and the, the, kid, uh, the baby slept on the bed with me very nicely, and everybody was getting along, and then uh, I was feeling a bit of, you know, lethargy, and, uh, you know, start of the symptoms of the low-grade depression, you know, yeah, it was an effort to get up, and usually is, but it was a bit more of an effort, so... Uh, I was kind of welcoming the uh, the low grade depression because last time it gave me a little relief. Now when I came out of it, that's when I kind of you know uh, had my little manic episode and went into the um, you know uh, um, you know the, the binge thing. So, but um, but this time I'm like going okay, good low grade depression. I get a little break. I get up. I feed the kids. I sit on the sofa. Well, it's almost full force. I mean, not full, full force, but pretty close, you know. Um, and I think that's probably because the last, uh, the last thing was so intense, you know, it was so intense, you know. Um, and I got out with, uh, with tr- trouble, but I got out, and then you know. So now it's kind of you know, even even with the uh, depression, it doesn't really help much, you know. <laughs> the, the thoughts still come, but it's okay. I'm like going. I pushed myself. I said I got, I've got to go out, have lunch do something you know so I got the babies into their room just to be on the safe side and you know gave them what treats brought the mini and I parked just down there on the, on the, brought the small car for city parking and this is Runcesville so they call it Runcy uh, Runcy village you know um, affectionately and I have a couple of friends who live very nearby in Africa uh, just over on that side so um, now um, I'm like um, I'm sitting here and I'm like and this is the Indian restaurant, Dilse. And it actually means very cheesy. Oh, he's coming to take my order. Uh, one second. Okay, I ordered, I'm like going, look, uh, compared to the other stuff that is pulling, eating eating chicken isn't that big a deal. You know, I'll just apologize to the chicken community, but you know, at this point, it's better that I eat chicken than other stuff. So I'm like, you know, so I went for the chicken labadar. I'm not sure what that means, but it's their chef specialty and it. And, and I said spicy, and he said, you want a spicy? And I said, yes, please, spicy. So, and it comes with, I think, you know, dal and um, naan and uh, rice and various, like a tali. So I'm kind of, you know, and uh, the best part about this place is that you get this very, very nice patio. I'm sitting on the road, but it's okay, so it's all plucked off, you know. The food has come. And, you know, it's uh, this kind of tali type thing, uh, white plastic instead of the usual uh, stainless steel. But usually when you get these lunch thali things, you'll get, if you order um, a chicken, then in the second container, they'll have like a, a vegetable or a dal or something to go with it. This one, they just give you lots of chicken. There's chicken in that one, chicken in that one. It's very rich, very creamy, labadar. It's kind of, it's like a, it's like a thick korma, you know, but it's very, very creamy, you know. It's good, good. Uh, the pieces are nice there. You can see that they've been cooked in the tandoor, you know. Um, and then the only vegetable you get is a little bit of that, you know, <laughs> uh, onions and, uh, and uh, you know, carrots and stuff, you know, and you get that, that's the dessert, you know, and you get a very nice naan, you know, um, and rice, you know, so I asked for it spicy, you know, of course it's not very spicy, so I asked him, I said, can you bring me a hot sauce or green chilies or something, and he was like, okay. he goes, I can bring you green chilies, so I'm just waiting for those, and that'll kick it up a notch, the food is good. It is actually good for very good value. Thirteen dollars, you know, thirteen ninety nine, including a, a drink, including a dessert, you know. No real vegetable as such, but that's okay, you know. <laughs> so I got a, got a lot of chicken, you know. Um, so everybody, I washed the mini. My friend always says it's a good sign when I wash the car. So I washed the mini. I didn't hardly have the energy to dry it, but I managed. Then I came to this out, uh, this warehouse outlet. And they get another pair of uh, tender pajamas and uh, socks because they really need socks, you know. Uh, they keep disappearing, you know. And then, um, uh, you know, they had Calvin Klein shoes. And you know how I'm not into, I really couldn't give a shit about designer. But they had Calvin Klein shoes for like $40. But they're laces. And the ones they wanted, the slip ons, and I'm too lazy for laces. So I put these ones. They're not Calvin Klein. I don't know what the hell uh, make they are. They've got buffaloes on them. 
or something, you know, I don't know, whatever. But they're like slippers. But they're the same price, thirty dollars, and I just you just slip them on, you know. I don't know if you can wear them out or not, but they're good slippers and I, I just like things that I don't have to lace up and shit, you know. So then I went to the Sobeys just over here and they get some buns and some salmon burgers and some you know stuff like that, you know. Uh, oh I got a I got impossible kima. If I feel better tomorrow or the day after, uh, I might cook an impossible kima gobi. So I got a gobi as well. So that, that usually helps a little bit, you know. Um, but uh, the pools are slightly better, better now. I heard back from my friend uh, who loves uh, Dilse. <laughs> uh, but she kind of realized it wouldn't be up to my, my standards. So anyway, that's... Hello everybody, it's me, Nadi Professor. Um, uh, it's day 12, I think. And I had my Zoom session with my analyst in the morning. And just uh, relaxed with the kids in the day. And um, I just left everybody loose. Agita, Agita was under the bed in the master bedroom with the door open, and uh, babies were under the um, chair in the uh, living room. And I had to come get some onions because I'm thinking of cooking a impossible gobi kima. And I've got the impossible plant based kima and I've got the, um, the gobi, but I had no onions. So um, I just walked here. We have a um, variety store in our uh, uh, ground floor of the condo, but. They probably have onions, but you know, I want a little bit. It's very, very nice. It's you know, not hot, not cold, a little breezy. You know, uh, on the coolish side rather than the warmer side, but it's nice. You know, so I uh, said we might as well go for a walk, and you know, so I walked to the rabbi here, and you know, got the got the onions, and then I stopped for a pit stop for um, ice cream, pistachio ice cream here at my favorite gelato place, and usually I sit in the bench there by the water, but you know, they've got a nice table set up here, so I might as well sit in the table, and, you know. And then I'm going to head back to the kids, you know. And I might try to tidy up a little bit. I actually threw out the recycling. All the empty Coke bottles were piling up in the kitchen, so... Hello everybody, it's me. I'm just heading back. Now, bougies. I told you, you know, you gotta love bougies, you know. Um, the, the, the driveway was perfectly fine. We just had it done like three or four years ago. But apparently there were a couple of little cracks coming somewhere. And they thought it was a very bad job. So they ripped everything up, you know. All the asphalt was removed today, and they're going to repave it, you know, and they're gonna fix the cracks or whatever it is to make it even. It wasn't the last so they're trying to sue the previous people. I mean good luck. That was like four years ago. So five years ago, so I don't think we're gonna get back. So the whole thing is being redone at the cost of I don't know how many hundreds of thousands of dollars, you know, out of our maintenance. And in the meanwhile, I mean, you know, if you got that kind of extra money as a corporation lying around, would it not be better to put it into a, you know, a, a port, a carport, port -a the front, so that when you get out of the car and it's raining, you don't get soaked, you know, just for, uh, you know, $50,000, $100,000, I'm sure you could get a very nice one. Our neighboring building has one. They put it in. It's a big one. Uh, but this one, you get soaked. The uh, a doorman comes with the uh, with the umbrella. By the time he comes, I've already got out of the car, and then the umbrella does isn't really very effective. You still get wet, you know. So I don't I don't get bougie logic. I just don't. It's 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 more screwed up than cap logic. It's just I just don't. Everybody, I finally cooked. Uh, you know, uh, uh, impossible. Actually, it's a Beyond Meat uh, plant based. Um, Kima Gobi. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've cooked, so as my friends keep saying, it's a good sign. And we've got my, my children were giving me company, you know. They didn't exactly help, but <laughs> one of the babies is there. And I get this there. And you can see the other baby is there. <laughs> By the tunnel, you know. So I'm just going to feed them first. And then I'll eat myself, you know. Let's let simmer a little bit and I might put a little bit more chili in it, you know. Uh, there's only about 10 or 11, so I put a few more in them. Yeah, I'll taste it. Um, anyway, uh, bye for now. Yeah. Hello everybody, I'm on the bus, heading down our shuttle bus, just coming out our driveway, heading to town. Uh, I'm going to have lunch, probably Salad King, and then um, uh, Art Gallery, which I haven't been to in a while. So, oh, that's our new driveway, it's all been completely repaid for absolutely no reason whatsoever, but it's been repaid, so now the bus and all the cars are coming back up the driveway. So now, um, heading to town, uh, on the whole yesterday was good, I just stayed home with the kids all day, actually managed to do a little bit of writing. 
uh, you know, the details, some of the details at least, that I hold back from um, uh, podcasts. And, you know, uh, there's always a danger there that, that may actually increase cravings. But it did a little bit, but it was okay. It was handleable. And I just stayed in with the kids. And then uh, today I'm going to town in the morning. Had a very nice uh, time with the kids. Um, and, you know, spent time with them. And uh, now I'm heading to town. And then tomorrow is a day trip. So we'll keep you posted. Uh, bye for now. We'll show you what lunch I'm having, probably Salakin. Okay, here at Salakin, I'm having the um, chicken wonton soup, which is quite good. They have extra hot sauces now, so I've added them. And my um, green curry shrimp potentially has just arrived. And um, they've got sambal and they've got new hot sauces. So, I'm, you know, there's a Thai sriracha. I'm not a big fan of normal sriracha, but this sriracha is not bad. I put lots of it into my soup. So anyway, uh, finish this and then head to um, uh, Art Gallery. Bye for now. Um, yes, the food is very good. You know, it's ten chili, so it's not super spicy, but there's lots of these extra new hot sauces. There's that one in the uh, sriracha, which is better than the regular sriracha. And, um, it's a sambal. So I'm quite enjoying it. You know? So anyway, I'll finish this and then head to um, Art Gallery. Bye for now. Hello, everybody. I'm here at the Art Gallery, and uh, they've got a new installation here. This is the gallery where the Matthew Wong had been for many months. So there's a new installation, uh, Ken Lum, uh, Death and Furniture. So I know nothing about this, so uh, I've got to be exploring this for the first time. Looks interesting. This is, uh, uh, comprising photographs, text-based works, prints, found object installations, sculptures. This presentation offers a glimpse into a career that spans more than 40 years, highlighting Lum's witty and keenly observant view of the world. Uh, certain truths are undeniable, whether they're part of our presence of furniture and death represent concrete, conceptual examples of absolute reality. Uh, Socio-political variables such as class, ethnicity, migration, the way we engage with one Looks interesting, you know. Uh, so we get a, a mystery of the tattooed lady from a series, archival inks, um, and they're, they're done up like, these ones are done up like uh, obituaries, mimicking the style of a nerd newspaper obituary. Each work provides a glycerin to life in individual who lived in France, died in Western Canada. Uh, diseased are not public figures. Uh, however, by summarizing the biographies of these ordinary people, uh, he pays homage to his subjects and makes their lives easier. It's kind of interesting, kind of interesting, you know? These ones are all mirrors with photographs tucked into them. Uh, again, you know, I like the I like the concepts, you know. Yeah. Uh, I miss Matthew Wong, though. I like the concepts, and there is a little bit of overlap in terms of you know what I try to do with my own uh, writing, uh, and uh, you know, as I said, I do incorporate things like texts and ads and things like that into my writing, you know? It's kind of found stuff, you know, so to speak. Um, you know, the part of the I am here thingy and, you know, the uh, kind of texture, as I used to say. So I do understand what he's what he's saying and, you know, what, but, uh, and, you know, I like it, but I miss Matthew Wong. <laughs> that, that was a really something, you know? Anyway, you know, I am enjoying this. this is, it's a good exhibition. Okay, we'll see what's in the next uh, gallery. Uh, You got this. You got the sofas on this side, which is kind of interesting too. Maybe I'll try that at home. You know. Anyway, bye for now. Hello, everybody. I'm home now. I've been home for a few hours. Just been resting, relaxing. <laughs> Haven't even really, you know, worked on journal entries or anything. Just kind of vegging on the sofa, pretending to be a cat. So we get uh, one of the three pieces there, and one of the three pieces there, eating a piece of dry food. Everybody eats everybody's food now, and Agitha is there. And you can see the, the I think you can see in this, the, the sun, sun is setting. Now, I've, I just read uh, online, that's what I've been doing, <laughs> reading junk, the junk on, on my phone, but I just read something about there's supposed to be a super moon tonight, you know? Uh, you know, it's, it's like a, a full moon, but it's a, a super moon or something. And I'm looking down, and I see a lot of people lined up there. Uh, and they're kind of facing that way. 
Uh, I'm wondering if they're here to watch the rising of the moon or something, you know, the super moon. Hello, everybody, it's me, the Nut Professor. I'm here in scenic chat in Ontario with my uh, mechanic, my trusted mechanic, the only mechanic I trust in all of Ontario. And we have a cattle that was coming for the uh, window. Well, apparently they've ordered the switch and it's going to take a while to get here, but they put the window up. So that's a good thing. And uh, we're just waiting for one of the bays to get uh, clear to uh, get the car in and do the oil change. So, it's day 16, you know, and uh, you know, counting. So from here, I go and I cut the grass. Uh, I don't know if I'll need a lot of cutting because it's really dry. So, but I will cut the grass while I'm here. And then I'm going to drop the car and I'm going to take the carpet back because I'm going to have it over the weekend and next week and you know. Void of the humans and there is kind of the back street. I mean it's one, it's exactly one block. Small block at that, you know. So there, there's the Cadillac. There we go. There it is. You know, I'm back then, uh, into the caddy and then to the storage garage, switch cars. And then uh, I pick up some decadent food and back to the kids. Bye for now. I'm at the garage and I'm just uh, doing a car shuffle, so that's the, I've uh, just grabbed the Pacific out. Mini is there and Cadillac is there. It's a weird sound coming from that farm. Alien spaceship or something, I don't know what that is, but anyway. It's some, maybe some farm related thing. Maybe it helps the plants grow. And then um, I'm just going to pull this one out, put the Mini here. Oh, and I've got to record the mileages for the uh, registration um, uh, thing of the cars. You don't have to pay anymore, but you still have to give the kilometers. So my mechanic reminded me to get the mileages while I was here. So I've just got to get the mileage of that one. And uh, and I pull this one out, you know. And then head back in this. It would be nice to have the hood down. Anyway, bye for now. Here I am in the vet with the hood down. And I'm in Woodstock, Ontario. And uh, it's a... Uh, Golden Arches, McDonald's, getting a filet fish meal. Uh, just putting up to the window. It's a little bit coolish with the hood down, but it's okay. I put on my, my jacket and, you know, and it's nice. It's, you know, it's pretty pleasant, you know. So uh, here I am. Are we getting my uh, filet fish I'm just going to eat while driving. So, uh, you know, I stopped, got gas, and this is a little overcast. I mean, you know, it was sunny and warm in the day. And still, I mean, it, you know, it says 24 degrees outside. Uh, well, yeah. Hi there. So, yeah, hello. Here's Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. We're just going to have to pull you forward because we're waiting on your flight. Okay, so where do I go? Just around the drive through there's a red sign with an M on it where you can park for Thank your you very much. No problem. Have a good day. Thank you. Yeah, they always do this. It's not new, you know. Uh, the fish or the uh, veggie thing at uh, um, RVs, uh, they always have make you wait. Um, mm. Okay, I'm going to turn this off again. Hello everybody, I'm here on Montesville again. I had a nice uh, night at home with the kids and uh, spent some time with the kids in the morning. Uh, and then I got the uh, babies into their room uh, and I came out to had to build an envelope and stuff. And then I'm like, I've heard this is only at five o'clock. So I kind of missed brunch. I haven't really had, you know, anything to eat yet. So I was in the car and I'm like, going, you know, Maybe Roncesvalles again, because uh, the last time I had a very nice uh, lunch on the patio, but it's kind of, even, even on the patio, it's a bit hot and it doesn't look too shady. What is this place? Uh, uh, friendly Greek? Uh, no, Friendly Thai. Uh, there's a Mr. Kebab time, which is, uh, I don't think they have a patio, and, they're, and it's Turkish food, and I didn't like the Turkish food last time so much. Different place. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll just go with my usual Tibet and then eat inside. But we'll see. It's very hot. So maybe inside is not the worst idea. Well, I decided on a falafel place. I was just walking. Well, it's a Lebanese place. It's falafel and uh, chicken, uh, you know, uh, shawarma and uh, sumaki and all of that stuff. But they also have a grilled fish special. So uh, with, uh, you know, uh, salad and potatoes or whatever sides. And they've got a patio. It just looks fairly shady. The food is actually okay. The tilapia is not bad. Uh, there's roast potatoes, you know. And I can said, is that side um, included? And he goes, no. And he goes, uh, great please ones. He goes, no. And I go, that one? And he goes, no. But apparently the um, the rice, 
it comes with rice and then uh, the, the roasted potatoes and I got the salad, which is actually quite good. It's actually quite good. The only thing is, when I asked for extra hot sauce, but I should have figured hot sauce is not hot, you know, usually isn't at Middle Eastern places, you know. So the food is good. The rice is actually very good. Rice and potatoes are nice and, and it's a good salad and you put babu ganesh and you put, uh, you know, that um, their version of raita, whatever that thing is, you know. Um, so um, it's um, exactly good food and this is the only spot on the entire patio where I got a bit of shade. Uh, the shade there, but you can't move the table. What a big surprise! What a shock! The little professor is that but smart again. <laughs> we got we got canned food and everything, so I just got a few more flavors that they might like. And um, we've got uh, dry food. We've got enough for now. It's not on sale this week, but we've got enough for another week or two. So I'll hold off on that. But we're, uh, we're you know we got lots and lots of cans, and we got treats and. Oh, I think we're okay. Okay. Yeah. Always feel better when I come to the pet store. Hello, everybody. I was just uh, heading um, from PetSmart uh, over there uh, to the ice cream place, and they've already started. I think it's going to be a bit busier now that summer has started um, for the car show here, and just a very informal car show in the parking lot of the Canadian Tire here. And people have already started coming, and I recognize all of these cars. This is like a 1980. Oh, sorry, 1980. 70? No, 80. I think 8081 80, Imperial. They brought it back for a couple of years. We had an older model of this, my, my parents. And then there's a 79 Cadillac. And that one, the very old one, I think that's, that's the Packard, you know? And then there's a, um, a Lincoln from, you know, about the same era as our uh, Cadillac, you know? So, uh, you know, that's what I like about the show is that, uh, you know, this gathering, not really a show, it's just a sort of a meet. Um, because there's a variety and you can bring any nice car or any slightly old car or even new car, it doesn't really matter. You know? uh, and people, but you know, for me, it doesn't really do much. I've been to the really big auto shows out in the country in Bothwell and uh, even the uh, uh, the town near where um, uh, where I'm looking for a house. Uh, they have a big uh, chat and they have a big, uh, very big uh, car collecting Cobby people out there, so they have a very big car show, you know. And even the little town where my where my country house is, there's a fairly big car show, exotic cars. But um, but uh, this one is just people bringing. But then you know, they just sit there in the, in the chairs and they talk to each other. And I'm not particularly social, so um, so for me, uh, I, I did go to the uh, car shows because I had. Um, uh, Friends, uh, you know, I sort of actually belong to a car club for a little while. These are nice cars, and you know, these are the kind of cars that we actually have and that uh, enjoy. And, and my uh, my S class is over there, but I'm not going to stay for the actual show. I'm going to, uh, and they put little things where they go, you know, the year of the car and uh, the information and how much it cost you. In the U.S., 1987 Lincoln Town Car, um, new cost twenty six thousand seven hundred. And ninety-one dollars, and the size, and the owners, and all of this. It's nice, you know. And they keep them very nice and clean. And they have uh, people keep the, like the original uh, bill of sale. And the only car that I have, the, I think, the original bill of sale for is the Porsche. Uh, I think it was thirty-seven or thirty-eight thousand dollars in nineteen eighty-four. But anyway, I'm not going to come back. I, you know. If I had been out at that time with the Corvette, I would have brought the Corvette. And there usually are uh, a few Corvettes as well. So, um, but, um, you know, and, and as Canadian Tower closes, then, yo, look, I was just talking about it. And there's two, you know. <laughs> now, the one on the left is very slightly newer than mine, you know, uh, very slightly newer. Uh, mine's 89, I think that's 94, 95. And then the... Um, the red one, I think that's a 73 or a 72, you know. So, um, actually, you know what? I was wrong. That the, uh, the the black one is actually the same age as mine, 80, um, 89, 88, you know. So, and they came and they realized they're too early. So they left, you know, and they'll be back later. They'll be similar. Hello, everybody. 
everybody, I'm here at the uh, Dairy Queen in Queensway and uh, I'm using the, um, the hood of the um, uh, S430 as a picnic table and I'm having my score uh, blizzard, mini blizzard and um, there's a couple of things, I think I mentioned these before, my little pet peeves at uh, PetSmart and they did it earlier today when I, when I went there, um, you know, even if they're serving someone, the cashier will shout out. If somebody comes in, they'll shout out, Welcome to PetSmart! Hi! Welcome to PetSmart! And some are a little bit more enthusiastic and louder than others. And some will just go, eh, Welcome to PetSmart, kind of under their breath. But I don't see the point of any of that. I just find it really annoying, you know? And, um, and here, if you order a blizzard, they turn it upside down before they give it to you. And um, I wonder if it's ever backfired on them and if it's just plopped out into the floor, you know? Um, if I did it now because it's melted, it would be like, it would be on the pavement, you know? But um, again, I'm not, I, I, I've considered today saying, can you please not turn mine upside down? But, um, you know, maybe it's a policy. Maybe they'd get fired if they didn't turn it upside down. I don't know, you know? It's, it's Everybody, I just got home. One of the babies is sitting on the trash can. The other baby is in the dining table, yeah? And I just, uh, yes, yes, that is uh, leftover food. Wasn't that great, but I think he, can, he knows it's fish. And I put away the, um, I think we have enough cat food. I just put, I put away the cans of cat food and the cola. Two things of cola, so, you know, the essentials. Uh, shopping was really the essentials. Cola and cans of cat food. Extra cans of cat food. And Gita was in her room. Just when I let the babies out, she has come to the baby's room to uh, use their litter box and drink their water and eat their food, you know, and uh, sit on their bed. So, uh, but now all the doors are open. And I was thinking of going down to the lake, but I've already been out quite a bit, and you know, and I had my ice cream out, so I think, and there's a lot of humans down there. So now I'm just going to edit and post, you know. So yeah, it really should be two podcasts, you know. Uh, there's quite a bit of material, but then I don't want to be repetitive, and um, uh, my friends are already well. One friend is already a few podcasts behind, so I don't want to like inundate people with too many podcasts so we'll we'll keep it uh, i'll try to get it down to one this is a few minutes later and everybody's still settled in the dining room i got one baby there one baby there and hakita here you know all four of us in the dining room so from uh the three kids and myself the nutty professor you know, uh, bye for now see you next podcast so you get hakita one baby and two baby so from the four of us bye for now